Using Photoshop's Elements 11, I will demonstrate how to stitch a two-part scan. To do this, I'm going to use this example here. I have a piece of artwork that was too big for the bed of the scanner. So I had to scan it in two different sections. And what we will do is stitch those together. So let's go ahead and open these two. And as you can see, they came across one on top of the other. I would rather see them side by side. So I'm gonna go down to layout and then go to all column. And now we have them side by side. And you'll notice that the right side picture is upside down. That's not a problem. All you do is click on it to make sure that you're on that one. Then come over to image, rotate 180 degrees and it's flipped for you. Now what we're going to do is stitch these together. So we have to come over to the left side picture, click on it, and we have to work with this a little bit first. What you see here is a white background that we call the canvas. What we need to do is enlarge that canvas so it will accommodate this side to come over to this side. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to Image, Resize, Canvas Size, and it defaults to inches. I want that to be on percent, so go ahead and switch it to percent the width being at 200, the height at 100 is perfect, and then where it says anchor, you want to anchor it to the left side, and that to do that you would click on this arrow here. And what that will do is take this side of the picture and anchor it over on the left side of the canvas, leaving a space on the right for the right side of the picture to come on over and fit right in. And there's the space that it'll fit into. So now you'll click on the right side picture, knowing that you're selecting it, and go to Select All. Then you go to Edit, Copy, and what we're going to do is paste it onto this picture. So then we have to select this picture and say Edit, Paste. And you see that it jumped right over there. So now we don't need this side anymore. So let's just go ahead and close that out. And here you have our two layers. So what we need to do is move this over to fit perfectly. So what we'll do to do that is click the move key, hold your left mouse key and drag to move it. And what we're going to do is measure it up to the side here, right even with the other part of the flower and we'll just marry it together here. And that looks pretty good. So you release your mouse key. Now, when I click off of here, you're going to see a line. We don't want the line there showing where they were um, stitched together. So let's go ahead and select the eraser tool. And now you see that line I was talking about. Now with the eraser tool, we're going to go down and make sure that our opacity is at 50%. The size of the brush should be pretty big and 65 is big enough. And then come over here and click and hold. And what this is doing is you think that it's erasing, but it's not. The picture that is underneath is actually going to be shown a little bit more because our opacity is at 50% and what that's doing is it's telling elements that you want to see 50% of the underside of the top layer. And that's what's going to take this line out of the drawing. So you're just clicking on top of the line, dragging it on the line, making sure you've got all the line out of there, and it sure looks like we do. So next, we'll go over to the layers bar, and on your keyboard, hold down the shift key, click on this background layer, so you have both layers highlighted. They're both selected. Then you'll go to Enhance, Photo Merge, this is where it'll be stitched together. So you want to pick the photo merge that says panorama. 
Now it's asking for the two files that you use to stitch together. So go into Browse, look at where you have them on your computer. I keep them on my desktop when I'm working with them, so that's where it's going to find them. Okay. Now it's doing the stitching. And there you have it. So now we're going to crop it to get rid of that excess uh, canvas we have in the back there. So we got our crop tool and you notice down here I have the width at 14 inches, the height at 10 inches because that's what I want my finished product to be. You can change those at any time. So I'll click and I'll drag and that will be 14 by 10. And then you're going to click on the check mark because that's what you like and there you have your photo finished. Now remember you want to save this with a different name and you're going to save it as a JPEG file. So you will go up to File, Save As, and you're going to change the name, and then you're going to change this to JPEG, and hit Save. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's how you save it. Once you've got it saved, then you can go ahead and file it in your digital file. And that's all there is to it.